Hey everyone, Simon and Alex here with Top Tennis Training and in this video we're going to show you five drills to develop the modern tennis forehand. Now the first drill, one of the biggest things, or one of the most important things for the modern forehand is the topspin. In the olden days, uh, we didn't used to have much topspin. A lot of players played flat. They played with chopper continental grips. Then it, they developed more of an eastern grip. Now a lot of the players are playing with a semi-western or even a western grip, and therefore generating a lot more topspin. So how do we generate topspin, and how can we improve that topspin generation? The first drill will help you with that. Now one of the most important things with topspin is to have the path of the racket going from low to high. Now we have this angle at around about a 45 degree angle, so if you ever watch any slow motion of the pros, when they apply a lot of topspin, that 45 degree angle going up, while the strings are brushing up on the ball. So we want to roll that ball down the strings as much as we can, and we want to recreate that path of, that the racket will have to take when we hit the shot. So a great way to do that is to place a ball under the racket, and then have a player brush up using as much wrist as they can. So they're rotating their hand, they're rotating their wrist, they're using their legs as well a little bit to help that ball up, but making sure that that ball stays uh, on, that, on that target and keeps on going up. So they're recreating that path of low to high with a nice brush, top spinning that ball over the target. So now that we've mastered the topspin with the path of our racket, now it's time to think about the path of the ball. Now with a topspin, you want the ball going upwards, so it's got like a, a 45 degree angle lift almost, because you've got the path of the racket going up, so you don't want to hit the ball too straight, because if you're applying topspin to that ball, that ball will end up either going into the net or dropping short. We want to give depth to that ball, therefore we need to give a nice trajectory to the ball. We need to make the ball go up off our strings. Now a way to recreate that, we've placed two blocks in front of us. The coach will drop the ball in front of the player and the player has to then lift the ball to avoid the blocks. You want to use the legs and that brush, that racket going low to high to try and avoid the blocks. The next thing we're going to look at is the swing. So a big uh, concept of the modern forehand is not to allow the racket head to go behind the body. It's the concept of an ATP swing versus a WTA swing. Now girls with a WTA forehand, they take their racket behind the back a lot further and they generate their power through the racket going forward in a more linear fashion. Therefore they're going to hit flatter balls, they're going to generate their power through having a big swing. Swing. With men, we want to generate the, rack, the, the power through having a good wrist lag and through not taking the racket back this way, but from getting the elbow away from the body, getting the racket away from the body, almost leading with the butt cap out, and it's something that you'll see most of the ATP Pro players do, and it makes the, the forehands a lot more uh, explosive, it makes them uh, uh, be able to generate a lot more topspin and create angles.
So a great way to avoid doing the WTA forehand. In this uh, scenario, we've placed a block behind Simon here. So now he's not able to take that racket back. And all he does is he's gonna place that arm behind next to the block. He's gonna touch the block with his arm. And then as I feed the ball, he's simply gonna release and hit the shot. The next one we're going to look at is now doing a proper shot. So we're doing a full swing while still avoiding that block. Now we don't want to take that racket back behind our body. So at no point is the racket going to break the line of Simon's body. And that block of course will stop him doing that. In this drill, it's all about the loop. So getting the racket going from high to low and smoothly through. So we want to have a continuous swing while still lagging with that wrist. So the racket goes back and then Simon's gonna lead forward with that butt cap. And because he's leading forward with the butt cap, he's now able to bring that racket from underneath the blocks and then make contact with the ball and finish over his shoulder. So this will encourage the player to A, use his legs, B, to try and get a nice loop and get around that block to then go under and up. Again, it will encourage topspin, a nice racket path, and a nice path of the ball that will leave the strings hopefully and get depth on the other side. The last drill we're gonna show you is a drill to develop a full body turn and getting enough space between you and the ball. A common uh, problem with players is they don't give themselves enough space, they get jammed up on their shots and they're also not turning their body so they're not rotating, they're not generating their power from the trunk, from the legs and from that turn, from the coil and uncoil motion and if you're not giving yourself enough space on the ball you will not be able to generate that power and you won't be able to do all the rest uh, of the technique that we've discussed in our previous drills. So in this drill, we're simply going to work on spacing yourself between uh, yourself and the ball. So the feed is going to come a little bit away from Simon. He's got a block here to stop his arm from going in. So at no point can the arm go across his body. He has to have a, a smooth, straight path through the ball while keeping the, the contact point nicely away from his body. So thank you guys for watching. That was the five drills for you to develop a modern forehand. Now if you don't have blocks like we have, you can always use boxes, any kind of obstacle that you can use in order to recreate the same kind of drill that we use here. I'm sure it will help you in your development of the modern forehand. Now if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification bell so you get notified whenever we release a new video. Get practicing and see you on court very soon.